Good morning everybody and welcome back to another daily dose of Jay's tutorials. Today we have our partial battery discharge benchmark test. We got our iPhone 8 on the left, iPhone 6 on the middle, and we have our iPhone SE on the right. So they are all updated to the most current which is iOS 12.4 as of 2019. And let me get these things set up. So we got dim screen on, we're doing partial discharge for all apps. Uh, keep in mind, this is the Geekbench 4 app we're using. I highly recommend it. Check it out in the App Store. You can do a couple of other benchmark tests, uh, which I really like. So according to this, the battery benchmark, it measures the battery life of the device when running processor-intensive applications. So that is the purpose of this test. So we are going to start running these benchmarks. And here we go. I might have to like cut the video in between, maybe take some photos as well, just so that you guys can see the results better. Um, I usually have like a phone tripod thing, but it can't hold the camera that I'm using right now since all the phones are in use. 43 minutes later, according to this, iPhone 8 is 85%, iPhone 6 81, and the iPhone SE is at 78%. So this test is going to take about three hours, probably, um, so here is the halfway mark, 1.5 hours later. We have iPhone 8 at 63%, iPhone 6 at 59%, and, ooh, iPhone SE at 52%, so that's actually not that bad. The iPhone SE is the oldest phone that we have, the most used one, probably, as well, and it seems to be holding up pretty well. I was actually expecting that thing to, like, die. Um, so medium confidence for all iPhone 8 at 2094, iPhone 6 1727, and iPhone SE at 1806. Keep in mind, we are running the Geekbench 4.4.1 um, version of the app, just a heads up. So battery comparison, the iPhone 8 seems to be holding a little bit above average. The iPhone 6 though, whoa, close to double the average iPhone 6 battery comparison in 2019. And then the iPhone SE, ooh, it's also doing pretty good, actually. So I guess uh, the batteries of uh, the phones that we have here have actually held up pretty well, especially the iPhone 6. And here is our, you know, the benchmark, the time. So at the close to the 3-hour mark, iPhone 8 at 23%, 20% for the iPhone 6. And iPhone SE is around 7% around the 3-hour mark. Um, I did fall asleep, but when I woke up, it was a, like it was about 4 hours since the test and they all had battery life still so looking at the charts here what's interesting is the iPhone 6 in the middle if you can see that the work the gray uh, lines it's kind of all over the place the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE seems to be consistent in terms of um, their application processing but uh, what's interesting is the iPhone 6 here is uh, kinda like inconsistent they're dropping uh, what I'm saying is it's probably not performing as well as I thought it would be. So thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Have a good day.